Debbie from So So Easy. Welcome. Today we're going to have a look at how to sew this wrap blouse. Just a quick look at its features. It has a two-piece front with a, a crossover V at the bust just here. There are some loose, short, casual sleeves. Um, and on the front where this panel crosses over, there are some pleats just here. You can't really see them very easily in this dark fabric, but there are uh, four pleats that go across, and these create the, the, the gathers and the volume for the bust across the front, and this nice draped effect. And this blouse looks really nice in a print, like we've got it just here, but it doesn't show up these gathers very well. So for this tutorial, I'm also going to um, make this in a plain fabric. This is the one I'm going to use. It should be nice and light and plain, so hopefully you'll be able to see the details in this one as I'm sewing. So I'm going to cut out my pattern pieces and then we'll make a start. So I have all my pieces cut out and pressed and they're ready to sew. But first before I do so, there's an optional step that I want to talk through with you. I've used a fusible knit stay tape. It comes looking like this. This is the half inch wide and it's fusible on one side and I like to use this with the knits because I find it really helps to stabilize the fabric and the hems especially on this type of fabric this one's really very very stretchy and really quite thin and drapey and I've had some difficulty with hem hemming knits in the past so what I've done before I start to sew on any of the pieces is I fused this um, knit stay tape in several places so this is my sleeve and I've fused a piece along the bottom of the hem where the sleeve is going to turn up. That's the first one. Then on the back of the blouse, uh, in fact on all of the body pieces, so the back and both of the fronts, I've put a strip along here along the bottom hemline. Also on the back, I've put a piece right along the edge of the neck around here and I've also stabilised where I'm going to sew the shoulder seams. So along where my stitching line is going to be, I've also put a line of the fusible here and around the neck as you can see. And then on each of the front pieces, again I've done the hemline at the bottom, but I've also done the neckline curve. Now some of the problems with wrap over tops is this front neckline can be quite loose and stretchy and when you lean forward you don't want it all to gape open and be more revealing. So I've put a line of the, the stay tape along here and also on the other front neckline piece as well and that's going to prevent that gaping from happening. So we're going to start work on this piece. This is the bodice piece that doesn't have any pleats so it's just the plain one that's going to be on the inside and along the bottom edge I've just turned in a half inch hem and pinned it and you can see where the, the stay tape actually creates a really nice edge here and it makes it easy to fold this edge up. I'm just going to pin this and stitch along and press and that bottom hem will be done and then we'll just set this piece aside for now. Our next step is to take the pattern piece and the fabric that's going to have the pleats on. You can tell because it's got the, the zigzag on the side just here. And you need to transfer these pleat pattern markings from your pattern onto your fabric. Now my fabric's really pretty sheer and I could actually see my lines through to, dry, to join them. But otherwise you may use these points and um, as, as you said mountains and valleys, each time you have a point or you have a, an outward or an inward point, is the point where your lines should come for your pleats and they should all end up at the same point on this side just here. So you can either thread trace them or use some kind of chalk or fabric marker, but recently I've been using these friction pens. These are heat erasable, so I like them for drawing on the fabric and then once I'm done I can just iron over and any lines I've drawn have disappeared. So draw your lines here. You should end up with eight, two, four, six, eight, because you end up with four pleats. Our next step is to start pinning these pleats. I've already done the top two. So basically we need to pin each set of two lines together. 
and you have a point and a valley and the point and the valley are going to line up when you pin so I'm going to start at this end and put my pin through here and out at the same point the other side so I can line up those two points and then over here I'm going to line up the valley with the point just here if I put a pin through, I'm going to put it through the line on this side and hopefully, there we go, it matches the line on the back. I'll do the same with this pin, that's good, and then just put another couple and then we'll double check that the lines are looking good. Okay, so I've pinned through this line on the front and when I check the pins are also through the line on the back so I can see that that's lined up properly. So that's three of my pleats now pinned. I'll just complete this last one. Same again. I'll put my pin through here and out at the other side. Fold in half. And I'm going to match the valley here to the peak here and put a pin through and go back and do this first one. My fabric's a little bit kind of slippery and they're not best to cooperate. So let's see how we get on. Okay, so it's gone through at the front just here and the pin goes through the line at the back. Same here, the front and the back. This one is like a tiny little bit off, but really it's not gonna make a big difference. These last couple of pins through the line at the front. And that one really did miss the line at the back, so I'm gonna try that one again. At the front. Can match it with the line at the back. That's better. Oh, this one's giving me a bit of trouble. Okay, that's good. And that's good too. So now I've got all four of my pleats pinned and I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and one at a time, lie them out flat and sew from here to this end point, same again from here to the end point until I've got all four pleats sewn. So I'll do that and then we'll take a look at them. So now my four pleats are sewn and I've just run my iron over to remove all the lines that I've drawn. There's the back and you can see them from the front. I think they're looking very nice. So now what we need to do is just baste them in place and so I'm going to take it to the back and starting at the top here where the neckline would be just within the seam allowance um, imagine you've got a, a line following up from here I'm just going to baste those pleats down and then we'll look at just trimming the points off so my pleats are just basted into place and now we can remove these points here these valleys and peaks were just to help you with the placement of the pleats and the pleat lines so we can now cut those off so I'm just going to imagine a line following up through here and cut off these bits that we don't need that's that piece now finished. Now it's time to join our pieces up at the shoulders so I've got my back here this is the right side and I'm going to place the front panels right sides facing so I want to make sure when I do it that I've got my neck going in the right direction so that one is going to join up here and then my other front piece joins up here I'm just going to put a couple of pins in to hold these shoulders in place. And 
stitch through a half inch seam allowance and that will catch this tape that we've put on the back just here just, just to prevent any stretching out of those shoulders as well when you wear it. So I'm going to pin those then stitch and finish my seams. Now within this tutorial I've not really talked much about how to finish your seams or sew your seams on a knit garment but I'm assuming if you're already tackling this one that you've probably got some experience in sewing with knits before but if you do need some tips and tricks there are more details in the instructions that you can read and that will give you some further advice on how to sew and finish your seams. So our two shoulders are sewn and the basic blouse is now starting to take shape and along the front we have our stabilised edges and of course across the back of the neck too and it's now time to turn all these in so turn in a half inch seam start at one side all the way up round the back of the neck and complete the other side too turn in a half inch to the inside and stitch neatly try and make a nice neat finish with this keeping your stitches evenly from the edge because um, this line of stitches can be seen around the neckline so I'll carry on and do mine and then we'll have a look and see what it looks like when those are completed. Okay, so there we are. Plates are done, shoulders are done, the neckline edge is now sewn neatly all the way around. And the next thing we need to tackle is the sleeves. Now there's one thing I've learned about sewing. There's the right way to do thing, do something, and often there's the quick and easy way to do something. And for this one, I'm going to use the quick and easy way. The right way, of course, would be to put the sleeves in first and then hem them um, in the round. But I like to sew nice and quick and simple if I can and do as much as I can in the flat. So actually, I'm going to take my two sleeve pieces and I'm going to turn up the hem and hem both of these before I put them in. So I'm turning up a half inch. I'm using my stay tape as a guide and I'm going to pin these and just hem the bottom of the sleeves first and then we'll put them in next. Now of course if you don't like that way and you prefer to do the proper way with the sleeves and hem them later but of course just do whatever you're comfortable with. So I've taken my sleeves, folded them in half and found the top point at the shoulder and I'm going to match them right sides together with the body and the top of the shoulder there matches with the shoulder seam and I'll pop in a pin. This point on the sleeve matches in with this point here. I'll do that for each end. It always seems like magic to me, the way that sleeves fit together. They don't look like they're going to work at all. I mean, this just doesn't look like it's going to fit in here, but it's always a miracle. I'll pull these two out, find the centre point here, match up again with a pin. Same here, match these raw edges in the centre and pin. And again up at the top. I'm only put a couple more around the top here where the curve is. And just ease these two pieces of fabric together. Match the raw edges. That's one side in. Do the same on the other side. Pin the whole sleeve in place and then I will stitch and finish and press and do the same on the other side. And then both of our sleeves will be in. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, so both of my sleeves are in. They're in and finished and I've pressed them. And now most of the hard work really is done. It's time for us to now do the side seams. So I'm going to open everything out and turn it over. So I have my back piece face up and then the piece with the pleats is going to be on the outside. So we need to pin that one down first. So I'm taking the piece with the pleats and I'm going to line up on the side seam. 
So I'll join up the underarm seam just here, place a pin, I'm going to join up at the bottom hemline just here. Oh, I haven't got my pins, one moment. There we go. So I'm going to put a pin at the bottom. A pin under the arm. Matching up those underarm seams. Just pin the bottom of that sleeve. I pull it out nice and flat. I'll just put a couple more up at the top. Making sure the raw edges are matching. And I'm going to go over onto this other side, the side with the pleats. And obviously it doesn't go all the way up to the armpit. So I'm going to start down at the bottom hem just here. Put in a pin. And lie both pieces of fabric out flat so that they match nicely. And I'll put a pin just temporarily at the top of the pleats because that's only the first piece. We now need to take this other piece, make sure it's not twisted up at the shoulder, and we're going to lie this one on top. So when we sew the side seams, we'll have three layers. So let's deal with this one first of all. So I've already got it pinned here, here, but I've left a part just here which isn't. And that's because this part from the front piece is now going to go just here. However, we've already hemmed this inside piece just here. So what I'm going to do is just imagine that this piece at the bottom just here is going to turn up half an inch. And where that's going to come, I'm going to put this piece adjacent to it. So when I undo that, there's about a gap of an inch just here at the bottom. So if I line back up those bottom points, I've got an inch there, and then the hem from my inside piece comes an inch above. So that's going to look like that. Now I'll flatten out all these pieces of fabric without stretching anything so that it's all even. I'll put a pin at the top where the three layers end and now I can finish pinning all these three obviously making sure that the raw edges for all three pieces are even and that's our first side done now around to this other side so on the other side, the pleated piece, the shorter piece is underneath and we're going to put the longer piece on the top. But again, I'm going to leave my inch at this bottom corner to allow for the fact that I've already got this inside hem piece turned up. So that's going to be pinned an inch above. And then I will pin, then I will pin at the underarm seam, line up those. My pin. Pin the bottom of the sleeve. It's only short, so there's just one pin there. And then again, exactly the same on the other side. I'm going to line up these raw edges. Take out this pin that I've got underneath, holding the pleats in place. And that now holds the three layers. And I'll continue to pin all the way down this side as well. And then I'm going to take it to the machine. And from both sides, I'll go all the way from the bottom of the, the sleeve hem just here through the underarm all the way down to the bottom and to the very bottom corner just there and do that on both sides making sure that as I go these three raw edges are kept even. Now I've jumped ahead of myself saying that I'm going to sew because of course actually what I want to do first is check for fit. So now I've got the pins in place I'm just going to try this on and see if I like the fit. Um, the first one I did, the black and white one, was a thicker fabric, it didn't have as much stretch. This one is a very thin fabric, very stretchy, and although I've cut and sewn it exactly the same, generally when the fabrics are different, with a knit garment it's going to fit differently. So I'm going to try it on and check that I'm happy with the fit and check that there's no gaping on the neckline. So it turns out it was as I expected, with this much thinner fabric, it has a lot more fluid drape to it. And when I tried it on, the neckline was 
just that little bit looser than I would have liked. So what I've done is just adjusted very slightly on this side. Instead of having this edge even, I've just pulled this edge over just a little bit, only half an inch, three quarters of an inch or something, and then just blended it in with these pins here. So it meets exactly the same point down at the bottom, but the top is just pulled that little bit tighter. And now I'll still sew and then I'll just trim off this extra little bit on that side. And it should be as easy as that. If you want to make a more dramatic change and have the blouse more fitted, then instead of following this line, maybe you could follow just inside, maybe make it um, narrower around the waist, for example, and back out again at the hip. But that's uh, a personal fitting adjustment and that kind of thing is up to you to decide. So I've completed both of my side seams here and here. And they're sewn, trimmed and neatened and these are all ready to go. So now everything really has taken shape. I've already completed my arms because I did those earlier. So now the only thing I have to do is this bottom hemline. And here where we have this inner layer, it's already turned up. So it's a, an inch away. So we have the hemming tape in place, the knit stay tape. So I'm just gonna go around and turn up this bottom hem half an inch. I'll keep this one free and I'll turn this one, pin and then stitch around the bottom and that will be mine completed. If you haven't already done your sleeves, you'll do that one too and then the top will be completed and ready to wear. Thank you very much for following along with the It's a Wrap top. I hope you'll enjoy sewing and wearing this one and please drop over to Sew So Easy and take a look at the other free patterns I've got on offer for you.